What's going on y'all? Another day, another video. Today's 28th September, 2023. And we're gonna go outside again. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like out there. Should be pretty cool. Take you to Destination Zulu, or what we call DZ. Um, it's basically just a, an exit uh, from the station. So we'll uh, we'll go check it out. Shouldn't be out there too long. Uh, not gonna make a terribly long video unless I get into my creative flow and just start showing you around. Um, but you know, overall, this will be a pretty pretty quick video. I'll take you downstairs. I'll show you my flag that's been flying up there for a few days. And yeah, let's show you. Go ahead and show you the temperature. It is pretty much the same as it was yesterday. It's minus 62.5 Fahrenheit with wind chill of minus 100.4. It's 15.9 degrees. Uh, excuse me, the winds are at 15.9 miles an hour. So pretty rough. And we're at about 10.5. So air pressure is about the same as it was yesterday. Altitude is roughly the same. So uh, I took the, my light is a lot brighter up there uh, right now. I took off a little cover that I had. So um, let's uh, let's head outside. We will walk under the station and go to destination Zulu. Remember, follow the door closed. Your hall mates appreciate it. Put our hood on, zip up. You know the drill by now. You guys know how it goes. And here we are. Man, the sun is just getting brighter every single day. Look at that. Incredible. It's actually like, if you look at it, it hurts your eyes. So I just made a decision. We are going to go check out Destination Zulu after we walk to the front of the arches. So let's go check those out. In order to get to the arches from inside the station, you've got to go down that thing. It's called the vertical tower. And you gotta go down like 92 stairs. And then you walk through this like ice tunnel thing. Kind of looks like something from Star Wars. And essentially what'll happen is you'll come to these two massive arches and here they are. There's the first one and the second one. So they are absolutely buried um there has been so much snow that has blown in this season that the uh these things are buried i mean those doors are like 15 feet high and they are covered so we've got our heavy equipment operators out here and they're scooping up all this snow and bringing it out and a lot of it is going up there where that giant mound is this all just started today and yesterday. So there's a lot of work going on to get the station ready for summer. But this is a massive arch. I mean, and that door is, it's a big blast door and it's completely covered. Let's see if this one over at the vehicle maintenance facility is uncovered. It is. So you can see here, the difference of how much snow they've been able to clear out. And you can see how tall it is. So, I mean, I'm six feet tall and that's how tall these doors are here inside these arches. So. Lots of snow has come in. 
we'll take you into the supply one. By the way, the vehicle maintenance facility is here inside this building. They work on the big equipment in there. So yeah, here it is. And that's the door right there. Yeah, that's the uh, the door that we just saw from outside. And just a, a crazy winter wonderland here. I mean, look at the look at the ceiling here. It's just all covered in these icicles, all the snow. All right. So this one was the most important uh, one, the vehicle maintenance facility arch to get cleared out because they got to get the vehicles in and out. If something breaks, they need to be able to fix it and work on it. And they're going to do that inside in the heat. So yeah, pretty incredible. I mean, just the sheer amount of snow that's blown in. You know, the South Pole is a desert. It does not snow here. So all the snow and ice has come in from somewhere else. And here's just another quick view of these arches. Let's get moving towards the station in case the camera dies because it's getting cold. But we exited there. You can see the American flag, my American flag flying on the second, second floor up there. And here's all the snow that has been moved from these arches we were just at. It's been moved here. I mean, that's a massive pile of snow. Oh man, look at that. That's the exhaust from the power plant. 24 seven exhaust, keeping us warm. This is the cryogen facility and the balloon inflation facility where the weather the weather people and the NOAA technicians release balloons. We've got our satellites out there that give us internet. The cargo facility, some other, the has waste barn, the, uh, where we keep some beverages. It's called the retail do not freeze storage. We've got the hyper tats out there where overflow happens. We only have 150 beds here in the station. So when we, we need uh, we need more people here, they stay out there in the hyper tats and have to walk all the way to station. Out this way is the ski way. So that's where the LC-130s, Basslers, and Twin Otters come in and land. So yeah, let's take you uh, to destination Zulu, like I said in the beginning of this video. Hopefully the camera doesn't freeze on me. Try to move pretty quickly here. I'm breathing hard because I'm walking fast and it's 10,000 10, feet, so not easy to breathe regardless. So again, this is the A4 pod, A1 pod. My window is that one on the corner right there. Almost at destination Zulu. I can feel the wind coming underneath the station. So this is destination Zulu. We'll go ahead and walk up these stairs. Get above the wind. But yeah, this is the first floor. Got the big door right here. And this basket right here goes over the edge and brings stuff up, cargo, supplies, etc. But yeah, that's the uh, birthing pod right there. Birthing pod. And you can just see all the snow that has come in through the winter and has accumulated over all this stuff. So 
really crazy. I mean, look at that. I think I showed you all this morning a window that was completely blocked with snow. Well, that's what it looks like when it's blocked with snow. It just piles up and piles up and ends up looking like that. So yeah, this is uh, Destination Zulu, guys. Basically one of our main exits here on station that people use to, to get out. I mean, it's perfect uh, exit as you can see. I mean, the door's right behind me right there. You just have to walk down these stairs and you pretty much have, you know, the quickest route other than taking the vertical tower down to the arches. You've got your pretty much quickest route out there to the operations zone where a lot of, a lot of stuff happens. So let's go inside. So we're in. I hope you guys can see me okay. I feel like the lens is kind of fogged up here. Don't want to scratch it. So I'm in the recycling room now, just across from the Destination Zulu. We came in right there. We we're just standing out there talking. So this is Destination Zulu, and this is the recycling room. So this is where we come and deposit our trash. So we'll start here on the left. We have landfill. And we've got all kinds of stuff. Um, we get non-ferrous metal here, so things that are not magnetic. Ferrous metal, aerosol cans, lighters and lighter fluid, broken porcelain and glass down there. Regular landfill, so I guess your regular trash. And then here we have cardboard. So you place your cardboard in here. We have corrugated and non-corrugated. This is for corrugated cardboard only. So a good example of corrugated cardboard, I don't know. Um, they don't have a piece, but it's basically cardboard with something in the middle. So this would be corrugated cardboard right here. So that is the kind of cardboard that goes in here. And regular cardboard, like I put this in here earlier today, uh, tissue boxes, that's regular cardboard. There's nothing in between the pieces. So um, Yeah, you got your corrugated electronic scrap So old electronics toner and printer cartridges. There's a monitor broken So I got some Like I said regular cardboard I've got fabric compact fluorescent bulbs. So the small ones uh, not broken intact uh, incandescent Halogen light bulbs. This is a food waste right here. So anything that's uh, food should go in there. Fabrics, so gloves, shirts, any kind of fabric. And then batteries. There's just some supplies here, some bags, and then you got your batteries down here. So all that stuff, we got alkaline, NICADs, and lithiums. And it's very important that we, you know, sort all the trash. It gets sent off continent. Nothing stays here. And yeah, this is the recycling room. So really important. Uh, we have a waste manager, a person in the winter who handles waste. And in the summer, we got like a team of two and they handle waste together. A lot more waste generated in the summer with 150 people. So one more look at our, our recycling here. So that's it. And again, it's right here next to Destination Zulu, this whole area. We've got the scale where we weigh, weigh ourselves and our bags when we're leaving. We call it bag drag. And yeah, these are air bottles for the fire team, for their packs if there's fire. 
they can get new bottles. And last, last hand warmer in there. Pack your, your glove with some hand warmers before you head outside to Destination Zulu. Earlier in the season, I put up a, an email that I sent out about you know checking out, especially when it's dark. It's definitely important to make sure you check out with somebody so we know where you are. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off lights in the recycling room. And that's it. Um, since we're near DZ, might as well show you the whole thing. Here's the post office. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my gear, I'm getting hot. What's up, man? Like So let's flip to a new paper, new page, and I'll show you guys some of the stamps. But before we do that, this is our post office. So in the winter, we don't have any mail, which is why these, what they call pigeonholes, um, are empty. But uh, there's like, you know, your initial, and then they go by last name. So. Anytime in the uh, in the summer when I was expecting a package, it would come right here to the Z and it'd be placed in there. So we've got all sorts of packing materials up top and boxes, more boxes down here. Um, there's like USPS, it's like a medium flat rate box. We got like the large, you know, these are the ones that I was sending most of the year in the summer, large flat rate boxes. And these are free. Um, got flat rate envelopes over here, flat rate small boxes, padded envelopes, priority mail, priority boxes. And you've got a scale here to weigh, weigh your box. You can drop your postcards and letters in here. And there's some some stamps and stuff, all the rules here for the post office. Um, this is a big one here at South Pole, no batteries. It's very important that we steer clear of those. So um, let's see, let's, let's show you some stamps. Uh, a lot of times when the LC-130 crews come, uh, they ask for stamps. So they like to stamp their passports. So. There's that one. Here's a, another self inking. Today's, today's September 28th, not the 23rd. Um, one of the favorite ones here is the penguin. I don't know where the penguin is. Oh, there it is. Here's the penguin. So we got our ink powder right here. Oh, we'll put a penguin. There we go. What's up, Cal? So the penguin's always a popular one. I like this one here. Um, where is it with the the eagle? It's got like a bird. There it is. What other stamps do we have? Um, this is a cool one, uh, kind of like the USAP logo. There's another one with like a penguin. Very cool. So yeah. Caution, heavy load, envelopes, tape. We got some brochures. These are always cool. 
Um, they have lots of information about the South Pole, facts and stuff. So you can always pop one of those in your box and mail it off. Yeah, that's about it. Um, mail only works in the winter, or excuse me, in the summer when planes are flying. So in the winter we don't have planes, so there's no mail. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And then here's the sign for the post office. And if you've been wondering what's in here, this is the station store. Um, actually, I can take you in there. So the store's closed right now. Um, but this is it. So this is where we sell everything. We have stickers here, all kinds of candies. We've got chips, women's clothing. There's some, what are those? Uh, Lucky Charms. There's a hoodie, postcards and regular cards. We've got sodas and all that. We've got hats over here. And then a whole bunch of sweaters and t-shirts. We've also got full lineup of toiletries, toothpaste, soap, and then a lot of souvenirs are over here. So um, we've got you know your stickers, bookmarks, pins, patches, uh, some writing pins down here. We've got Nal jeans with the USAP logo, some Tupperware, razors, some electronics, little. 15 gig flash drives, ethernet adapters, they sell cigarettes, lighters. Um, so yeah, this is where we come to purchase all the alcohol, um, anything that you wanna buy that's not you know for free in the galley. So pretty cool here in the store. It's open three days a week. Um, and yeah, that's the store. locked no one else can get in so yeah let's head back to the room and we'll finish this video let's say goodbye to our, our little stamps here Oh, here's the A-Pod layout. So this is what our A-Pod looks like. And my room is right here in the corner. And we exited here, we walked around to the arches. You can kind of imagine, you know, us out there earlier in the video and then we came down um, and then here into to DZ. So we are here, Destination Zulu, we walked up these stairs came in through these doors, which are right there. So yeah, still on the first floor. And we'll head back to the room. All right, so just as I had predicted, this video is gonna be a lot longer than uh, I originally planned just to take you guys out to, um, I told y'all we were gonna like go under the station and go to Destination Zulu. Well, we went under the station yesterday and today I decided we'd go see the arches. So um, I guess I kind of like this whole thing where it's just like bit by bit. Um, 
I'm kind of showing you the station and, and everything. So I hope you're getting a good picture of it. Um, you know, I'm going to upload these videos uh, in, in, I guess, you know, delayed status. Uh, they're not going to be, you know, posted um, from here. Again, just the file size of these videos. I mean, 25 minutes, it's, it's huge. So it's probably multiple gigabytes. And uh, yeah, so hope you all get a good... Uh, good glimpse of, of the station. Uh, I will try to do like a tour at some point. Uh, but before you go, before I let you go, um, I want to show you my haul. I got a massive haul from the store yesterday. Um, all the prices are increasing on everything. So I just bought a whole bunch of um, postcards. I bought like 250 postcards. I bought all sorts of patches, stickers. I mean, there's like there's hundreds of stickers here, hundreds of postcards. So with that, um, I'm going to let y'all go. Hope you enjoyed this video. going to cut it off before we get to 30 minutes. My beard is incredibly long. I plan on letting my kids use the electric razor and, and shaving it when I get back to Istanbul. Definitely need to get a haircut too. My hair is just out of control. Um, but that's okay. I just wear a hat most of the time and it stays out of the way. Well, thank y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. Saw the arches, um, saw Destination Zulu. I showed you the recycling room and I showed you the post office and the store. So uh, if you guys have any questions about any of those facilities, uh, services, anything like that, uh, leave a comment, let me know. And hopefully I'll be able to um, give, you all, give you all some good information, some accurate information. Um, obviously things change every year here in terms of postage and the store and pricing and, and all that. So whatever I give you will be relevant to, you know, this year. Um, so take it for what that's worth. And, um, yeah, showed y'all outside DZ, inside DZ, and we headed back, uh, showed you the kind of the A-pod layout and headed back to the room. So, um, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm gonna cut, cut it off here. And yeah, just go ahead and, you know, do the usual like and subscribe thing. And, and uh, we'll, the, me, Paria, Raylan, and Darian, and our family will, We'll really appreciate that. So um, thank you all so much. And we'll talk to you and see you in the next video at the South Pole. Take care, guys. Bye.